Hey people! Hello! If you watch the stream, the live stream, or watch the video of the live stream, your or last episode. No, the last episode was the withers. Oh the yeah. Spells. Whatever. But, okay, um, I'll, I'll shut up. If you watched, if you watched a thing at a point, you'll know that we made this amazing, beautiful build, and it only took us four hours copying someone's design. And um, yeah, we're not gonna rip out the walls because yeah, we, we, we fucked. Because it up. he's redesigned it, and we like the new one better. This is um, by a guy called Blackheart or Master Builder. So today we're just gonna do we're gonna do a bit of building. Um, we're gonna redo some of the walls, and inside we're gonna start putting in the rooms, including. And I think this is a very classy decision. Uh, Blackheart very kindly on my, on my request or on our request. Um, did this the reception desk in the middle has got a giant fish tank behind it So maybe this episode maybe next episode. We're gonna try and get a guardian spawner for the fish tank oh, uh, And maybe. maybe a squid spawner at some point as well is at least the plan Like the end result for the for the reception desk. So that's today's project uh, Let's get tearing down our hours of hard work. I guess <laughs> uh, Hours and hours and hours of hard work Okay done also done. You liar, I saw you. You took longer. <sighs> okay, so the, the side walls have been taken out. Uh, so we just need to, I guess, finish the sides of the front the to decide where it the meets front. the back. Yes, no, okay. Or maybe yeah. we should maybe we should mark out. out the central rooms now before we add the walls. So if we need to go out like a block or two more, we can do. If that makes sense. You know what I really, I, I kind of want to do, which is not in the original design, but I think will work well. Mm-hmm. Um, I need, I need a block. That's a block. That's what I need. You know what would have made more sense is if we'd made a beacon here and we'd given it haste or something. Uh-huh. That was not what I wanted to do. Uh, what I wanted to do was have a nice little balcony up here, which I can't get to. Ah, a nice little balcony that you have to be an expert in parkour at, and very little space to stand on. <laughs> like a, a but, terrace, we need like a roof garden. You can't walk out a window and go, this balcony's terrible when the balcony hasn't <laughs> been built yet, Sparks. <laughs> Well, I just thought that was it. I thought you were done. It's like, no. yep, this... <laughs> it's, it's, it's one of the new slimline balconies. So while we're building stuff and I'm chopping down mushrooms uh, with my full inventory, um, there's a couple of things we can talk about. The first one is probably Minecom, right, Crazy Man? Yes. This is, this is like a forewarning to people that we will be going to Minecon this year. Um, so if things catch on fire, blame Sparks. You're the, you're the one who sets things on fire, crazy man. I don't um, know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be going. It's going to be awesome fun. I'm really looking forward to it. It's only a couple of couple of days now to go. Um, ah, it's, it's over, over a week. Just over a week, yeah. That's a couple of As days. Of, well, I suppose. I'd have said a handful and, of days. Or a few yeah, days. Well, Never mind. Maybe even several Either way, days. I'm excited to go. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be good. Um, we do have a panel. I'm on a panel with Crazy Man. Uh, we are... I, I want to say I'm the panel host. I'm definitely the panel organiser, because no one else is doing it. But it's the... Um, <laughs> <laughs> He's the bitter part of the panel. <laughs> yeah, I just I just sit and, and complain about my life. That's the panel. No, uh, we're going to be... Uh, the, the title of the panel is uh, Enhancing Vanilla with Command Blocks. It's very much um, Game Mode 4-esque panel. Uh, we're going to be talking about a couple of things. We're going to be talking about uh, Command Block Efficiency. That's something I'm going to be covering in the in the panel. We're going to be talking about uh, game balancing, like making changes to the game and balancing them, which is something I think Crazy Man wants to speak about. Yes. Uh, and something that he does a lot for Game Mode 4. Uh, we have Dragnoz on the panel. He's going to be talking about... Um, ways of doing redstone quickly for clients like pay, paid jobs and the experiences he's had in that field 
Uh, and we also have um, Meep Juice, who is a um, a redstone minigame builder that we know through Minathon. Uh, he's going to be on the panel. He's going to be talking about um, things like um, working with other redstoners, working on a group project and ways of stopping your redstone from interfering with somebody else's, stuff like that. And then we've got Janikin on, on board as well. He's a, uh, he's a builder uh, for a for a group called Sun Fury, and he's going to be talking about um, building servers, like build, building lobbies and things like that. Um, I haven't quite discussed with him exactly what he's going to be talking about, but it's going to be a, quite a varied panel. Uh, it's not going to be like the map making panel, which I do suggest you go watch. I think I'm going to go watch it. Uh, that's got Dragnos on it as well. Seth Bling is going to be on there. I believe Cube Hamster is going to be there as well, so that's a good one to watch. So yeah, anyway, long story short, I'm I'm quite excited for it. But on on another note, for those of you who are just thinking, well, I'm not going, I don't care, how does this affect me? Well, well, little Jimmy, we all tell you. Uh, it means that we're going to have to pre-record some stuff in advance, including the Hermitcraft stuff. And I know a couple of people have complained in comments before that our stuff hasn't been completely up to date with some of the Hermitcraft stuff, but it's that or no videos, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, sometimes there's just not enough time to do this stuff, so... Yeah. But I think I think it'll be good. Um, we should the definitely have, have some, some videos going out while we're... Oh, yeah. While we're gone. That's the plan, anyway. I think we're covered for everything at this point, apart from this series disease. Mm -hmm. Series disease, um, which we should hopefully cover. We're also going to be, for those who are going, at the Hermitcraft meetup uh, on Friday. Uh, and we're also going to be at the uh, Mindcrack party. So we will be around there as well. Um, we're planning to party party. In case you're interested, yeah, I mean, um, don't really know what to expect from either of them, but I'm sure whatever happens will probably be fairly fun, so uh, it's, it's going to be good, I think. And that, I think that's basically all that needed to be said about Minecon. Uh, we'll probably be doing an announcement video separately as well from this episode at some point in a couple of days, because we're good like that. Yeah, we're, we're amazing. We're just yeah. so great. <laughs> So that's something to talk about. Uh, I will also be going to Canada in... Oh, yes. Then later on. Later on. He's leaving yeah. me forever, people. End of July. Um, so in about a month's time. Basi I'm basically, be... we come back from Minecon. We then have two weeks. And then Sparks <laughs> is leaving me forever. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and by forever, he means about a week and a half. <laughs> I'm going up to Canada. Uh, I'm going to uh, be helping... Um, run the uh, three-day Unplugged Expo event um, with the Minathon charity. And then after that, I'm going to be heading down to Ohio to visit Sackcloud, uh, who, whose name many of you will recognize. Um, she's, she's done a lot of stuff with us before. She's a good friend. And um, since, I mean, Canada is about as close to, um, to where she lives as I'm ever very likely to get in the near future. I thought I'd just drop down and visit for a couple of days. So that's going to be awesome as well. Um, so I'm going to be away for a, a week and a half or so then. Just so you know. Yeah. And you're not scared and surprised and wondering where I am. I haven't been kidnapped, probably. We don't know that. This is America. This is America. Yeah, you're just going to get shot. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry I about it. Been, yeah. <laughs> Rather shot than kidnapped, crazy man. Probably. For, for the shooter Wait, slash actually, kidnapper. No. <laughs> or for you. I don't know. I think I'd, maybe I'd rather be kidnapped than shot. I don't know. I, I, I don't think the kidnapper would, would agree with you. Knowing Wait, you. What? Well, no, the, well, the shooter wouldn't want me kidnapped and the kidnapper wouldn't want me shot. I don't understand no, the, what you're no, saying. No, 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 no. The, after spending about an hour with you, the kidnapper would have wished you just got shot instead. <laughs> Oh well, see that's my that's my secret survival tactic. Just it's, annoy it's, the kidnapper so much. It's not a very good survival tactic. Annoy them C so much that he tries to shoot you instead. Yeah, I mean, I don't see a problem with that. Uh, survival advice from Sparks. The point is, I win. It's not about survival. It's about winning. Uh huh. 
Um, bear that in mind. So on that lovely thought about <laughs> Charisma and I went to the pub um, yesterday and we spent it talking about ways to potentially survive falling out of an airplane. Um, so I'm looking forward to my to my uh, flight to Canada in a couple of couple of weeks. I think it's going to be great. Um, turns out that I'm probably not going to survive. <laughs> he, 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 but we, I think you do know now. You do now know the least painful way to die if the plane crashes. Uh, I've forgotten. What is it? Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Sparks is screwed. Yeah, I think I think we we agreed that one of the most sensible methods would be to pre-order an Amazon parachute parcel and have it delivered in mid-air um, as I'm falling. Or, they need to get their drones just... sorted because I don't think yeah, they currently the use their drones. Yeah, order like something light, like a... Um, oh no, you want something no, heavy. Tissues. No, you want something heavy so they send the big one. Oh, that's true, yeah. See, like, this is why he's going to die, people. Remove, remove the package and then just hang on for dear life instead. The, the little the little um, fan motor's going... Like, going crazy. Um, well, it tries to lift my weight. Thankfully, I'm, I'm like a stick, so it'll all be good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the point I didn't think of. You've got a much better survival chance than I do. <laughs> just on the yeah. fact that you have no weight to you. I don't think weight affects terminal velocity, though. It will when there's a little propellers trying to keep you afloat. <laughs> I, I, that, which is a scenario I don't think I've ever come across <laughs> while studying terminal velocity in physics class. <laughs> um, I've got m mushroom blocks if you'd like some. I would love some. Get out of here! There's more where that came from. Like, a lot more. I'll keep it for now, though, because I suspect you're full. You suspect so what many is things. What witch doing up there? Huh? What are you doing, you witch? A oh, witch. I thought you said that. Silly witch. <laughs> Hit the ground too hard. <laughs> thought you were talking about I yourself. Sh I shot it off. I shot it off the mushroom block. I'm going to get this witch. Oh, I hit the ground too hard. Oh. What kind of... Are we just leaving these as plain brown? Um... I could I, try the stem. Might look I, nice. I am leaving them for plain brown for now. Um, see how, how because the stem would look. I, I've I've figured we. I don't have I don't have silk touch. I was going to just replace it. <laughs> um, hang on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh, that bug again. <laughs> right, pick it up. Put it back. Oh, oh man. That is a little bit of a bug. Um, so how, how's this looking then? This is this is the front entrance, more or less. Mm -hmm. It's missing the... It's missing the... Downside slant. Yes, it is. It is. But... If if you want to start digging for the down slot, you'll see why I haven't. It's too narrow. Uh, no, 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 not that, not that at all. It's um, the way you because you have to lower the floor in this scenario. Do you? That's all on one level. Whoa, wait, wait, what? I just, I just switched back to my... I was like, I thought I only had two instances of Minecraft running. I didn't realise I was logged in in a cave somewhere as well. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. We've got no spruce wood. Hey! i got to get back up wood. there now. <laughs> no, don't punch... Cheese! <laughs> Don't punch cheese! <laughs> uh, no! Oh, you I want to get up there and build stuff, alright? <laughs> <laughs> now you've jinxed it and I can't make the jump. Uh, you know what I find hilarious is there is literally ladders on the other side of this pillar. Oh. <laughs> well, good. 
<laughs> That's what you get for messing with me. <laughs> You know what this I think this we could edit onto this very easily. Uh giant penis. Well, yes, but you know what we could edit onto it very easily that would look amazing. A small penis? Okay, well we've learned something about sparks today. Um no, the the thing I was going to suggest was a uh, a hot tub in on the top. <laughs> a hot tub. Uh-huh. I guess we on could, yes. And don't worry, I'm sure we can arrange it so there's a penis in your hot tub just for you. I'll be fine, don't a worry. A small one at that. <laughs> he's back. Oh, how he's back. Back in black, in the sack. Something knows bad to be back in a head shoots and a heart toots and a something, something. something. What? Something. I don't know. I'm forgetting the words of Back in Black. This is uh, this is so nice. I got a respiration helmet, and um, oh, Mr. Fancy. I also have Depth Strider, so this is actually not as painful as it could have been. Uh, building is looking pretty nice from the ocean. Hmm? I mean, the front looks fairly completed. Yeah. Oh no, no, that looks lovely. Yeah, just the rest of it isn't. You got sort of a random mix of stone brick and cobble. Yeah, that was intentional. It stands out a bit too much, though, in this texture yeah, pack. In this texture pack, it does a bit, yeah. It looks Maybe a lot Maybe if they nice weren't the clumped thing. so much. If they weren't clumped so much. It's very hard to not clump. Um, and get an even mix of the two. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's got multiple spawners in here now. Pigman and Creeper. And villagers. Okay, let's head outside. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god, that guy looks like me. Out of the corner of my eye, I thought it was a spark skull. I mean, he doesn't look exactly like me, but sort of initial thoughts. Ooh. I taught a Taurus Sparks. He has some good trades. You wanna get course. we wanna get a farmer, like nine melons or ten pumpkins for an emerald, eighteen carrots, seventeen potatoes, or twenty two wheat. I think I see the Guardian farm. I've I briefly skimmed through his video the other day, so I think I found it. How many kills do we need? Fifty. I don't 25. know, where are you? Outside? Yeah. Oh well he's got a really nice thing going on here. Oh he's got I know, it's look it's looking amazing actually. Um, I feel he's inadequate. Already got some guardians in the guardian box. <laughs> and I've got um, mining fatigue. Nice. Okay, I'm just going to kill a couple of squid. God, he's got so much sponge. I found out that thorns can't hurt you if you shoot them with an arrow. Really? It used to. Well, it doesn't seem to be. It hasn't yet. Because yeah. I remember a skeleton shot me when we did um, our last Vex map, and it got knocked back from my thorns chest plate and went over the edge. Yeah, I remember that happening as well. Yeah. Has that been nerfed? And also, I'm pretty sure you get thorns from shooting regular guardians. Because I was doing it with... Maybe it's a spigot me. thing. Maybe? I just shot one and it didn't hurt me. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be hurting me at all. Seven. Ow. Damn this game sometimes. I shot mm. him, my arrow bounced off him. And because it had flame and punch, knocked me all the way down to the floor on fire. Leaving me on three and a half hearts. I'm working my way back up. Well, that was two. And that's three. Cool, I'm done.
Yes, 50 out of 50. Thank Christ. Well done. I do not like that creeper being there. Is it a creeper or is it a charged creeper? It's a creeper. Well, he's now dead. He nearly blew up the spawner, but he's dead. I thought the spawners were indestructible. When, when you pick them up. Oh, I see. You're too lazy to put in the legwork. Yeah. And I have to hurry up because the uh, mineshaft around it is slowly catching fire. <laughs> Provides light. I don't know what you're worried about. You are just overly fussy sometimes, you know. <laughs> if I wasn't so picky about whether the stuff around me was on fire or not, my life would be a lot easier. I didn't bring a minecart with yeah, me. Yeah, see? Yeah. Everything else I've got, but minecart? Nah. See, if you weren't so fussy about putting the spawner in a minecart and were willing to just no. move it by hand. If I didn't insist on using a minecart, I would be, I'd be a happier person. <laughs> Please tell, we tell me we have iron and or a minecart at the headquarters. We have a minecart. That isn't currently occupied by a spawner. Well, if you're just going to change the criteria <laughs> at every single turn, uh, we have five iron across oh my several chests. <laughs> Wasn't that funny of a joke? Oh, a bat grenade just nearly blew me into lava. That was very surprising. I had squeak. I had a moment like a brief moment to think, oh, and then I was dead. And then you dead, were dead. Still, I was, I was, and then I was very surprised. <laughs> and then you were kind of surprised. Okay, I made it to the surface. I'm just around the corner. Just around the river bend. Now, is it that around the corner or around the river bend? So you're not being consistent with your story. How can I trust Why you? Why did you... You blocked in my rail entrance. Thanks. No, I did Oh, that's what that was. Woohoo! Stacked. <laughs> Good. Very tempted um, to break have... the blocks underneath to see how well they actually stack, stack. I don't really want to have to separate two invincible minecarts that are spawning crazy stuff around us, though. <laughs> it's daytime, Sparks. It's daytime. God, some people. I can't just spawn Guardian, change the spawner that way, can I? We have to get it out to do that, don't we? Yeah, we have to. We have to eject it first. Right. Hey, people, we're back. Hello. Um, done a bit of building off camera. Got ourselves a cave spider spawner, and we're ready to move this baby into the fish tank. Do we have the Guardian egg, Crazy Man? Yes. Good. I was worried when you didn't answer for a second there. Um, I've had two power cuts today. Uh, while I do realise that that would mean that my computer would have turned off, I did have a sort of a moment of... Is the power cut out? Yeah, I mean, you are a little robot-y to me, so... Yeah, my connection doesn't seem great right now. Interestingly enough, though, Minecraft says it's fine. Yeah, I think it's just m my connection. All right, so here we go. Cave side of spawner is cave side of spawner. What? Says says oh, you need a redstone block under the rail. Nice one. Oh, does it not just okay? No, you need a redstone block under the activator rail. We'll be right back. <laughs> cave spider spawner installed. Uh, you got the egg. Oh baby, we're in business. Apparently, or well, possibly, these can spawn in um in dark. Seriously. Do you hear a cave spider? <laughs> yep. Um, he'll he'll despawn one day. I'm not sure where he is, though. So does it is it dark area they can spawn in, or only watery area? I would have said only water, but it looks like dark area works as well. Alright, so I guess we need to 
get some glass and fill this with water now. Well, Unless... do we want to? Do we have enough to make a, another egg? Because we can make a squid thing. We don't have another spawner unless you want to use the charged creeper one. Hmm. Which I think is fine. We don't need another charged creeper. We don't need a charged creeper spawner anymore. Oh, we got a guardian. Oh, hey, guy. I see no issue with him being here. Crystals Perfect. And fire in our in our tank. Can you put the half slab back? Oh, I have it. For some reason. Well, the answer to your question then is no. It's a pretty good looking fish tank, isn't it? Uh, the, the fire adds such a nice touch. <laughs> Everyone loves the fire aspect of the whatever we just said it was. Fish tank. That's the one. So, do you want to use the charged creeper spawner for the squid thing? Do we have enough for an e another egg first? I would imagine so. It's arrows, you're not putting that out. Yeah, if you put water over... It's arrows, you're putting that out. If you put water over a fire arrow, it goes to a non <laughs> You should have left the arrow. fire. You should have left the fire. Who didn't start the fire? It was Sparks, because he sucks. Yeah, Sparks mm. sucks. You got your squid egg ready? I oh, know I dropped it off for safekeeping. I'll go get it, it's fine. If I'd had my squid egg, I wouldn't have made us push cave spiders through a dark cave. <laughs> Is there a squid upgrade? Uh, there's the Guardian upgrade to the Elder Guardians, which we probably don't want because of the whole, you know, not being able to do anything issue. But can you upgrade squids to something? Super squids? No, don't think so. Alright, just, just stop it, guys. Come on. Oh god, I'm actually kind of on pretty low health here. Uh, okay, uh oh, fine. this is not can, good. You can fill the water up to the top now without worry. Fucking let down. Right, I'm right here, I'm gonna get my stuff. <laughs> Ouch, without armor. Oh god, can you come in here and, like, I'm on a heart, I'm dead again. Can you maybe, like, shoot them from above or something? <laughs> I'm done. Good. We need to block off the top. That was a lot harder than I expected it to be. Piece of piss, don't know what you mean. Are you getting rid of the pillars inside? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was. So the majority of my damage has come from sparks. <laughs> Is it filled? <laughs> it looks filled. Yeah, just plug that top. Not the right block, but I it'll don't do. have any other blocks. I didn't see a single squid spawn. What is with that? I don't know. Why is water so murky against glass? I don't know. It's it look. This kind of looks like balls. It feels muggier than it does normally as well. Is that a texture pack thing? I don't think this should be less muggy. It's supposed to have clearer water. Yeah. But I can barely see through that. I don't know what we can do about it, though. Just take the glass off. Have it just flowing straight out into the <laughs> into the reception desk. <laughs> oh, it's alright. It's fine. Well, don't I worry. think our dreams of a guardian fish tanker are not quite as great as they could be. I don't get why that squid spawn is not doing anything. It, it's fairly cool. I mean, it's better than most fish tanks that you can get because it's got guardians in it. Um, but I think maybe a pool would have been cooler. Because you can probably see that better. Like if we maybe had Maybe we just like... need more lighting in there. You think? You think? think... I think it would help. Hmm. People of the internet, tell us what you think would make this better. 
Just put it in a comment down below. Mm -hmm. Just start off the comment, hashtag blame sparks. What should have been done is, and then what you think in your reasonings. Yeah. Well, we're going to... And we will read them, and we'll hopefully improve at some point in the near future. So we're going to call it here for today's episode. Um, we'll continue working on this a little bit off camera, and we'll also do maybe some more building either next episode or in a following episode, um, because we really need a place to put our stuff. Uh, oh, so we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.